Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Pick 6. I'm your host, Wabi, inside the Fieldhouse at TCO Performance Center, where the Vikings have spent all week getting ready for the Chicago Bears. And I've spent all week prepping for your questions, so let's get to work. Question number one comes from Noel in Bayfield, Wisconsin. Are the Vikings one of the better, if not the best, team in the NFL regarding TFLs? Looking forward to a tough defensive game against the Bears. Skull. Yeah, TFLs, tackles for a loss. The Vikings had 11 of them against the Detroit Lions last Sunday. For the season, the Vikings defense has registered 87 tackles for loss. That is third in the NFL and second in the NFC. So Noel was on to something. The Vikings are indeed one of the best defenses when it comes to tackles for loss. Question number two comes from Dan, Hillsboro, North Dakota. Do you think the Vikings pass defense is being overlooked. Probably, I'd say the Vikings defense in general is being overlooked. I think that stems from the first month of the season when the Vikings were deviating so much from the success they had in 2017. But since week four, the Vikings defense has been on fire. No passing touchdowns allowed in the last three games. 4.1 yards per rush allowed. That's eighth in the NFL. The Vikings have the number one third down defense, surrendering a first down just 28.4% of the time. Not only is that number one in the NFL, but it's 5% clear of the number two team in the NFL, the New York Jets. So yeah, this is one of the best defenses in the NFL, but they're not talked about that way, so I would say they're being overlooked. Question number three comes from Kevin. Is there a stat that gauges how we stack up in the second half of games on defense? We totally make the right corrections at halftime. Yeah, I think you're right, Kevin. The Vikings are among the better teams when it comes to production in the second half. The Vikings are allowing just 9.3 points per second half. That's fourth in the NFL, and they're even better at U.S. Bank Stadium, site of this week's game against the Bears. The Vikings allowing just 6.6 .6 points per second half at home, tied for first in the NFL. Our next question comes from Rebecca. Why did Eric Kendricks not make the Pro Bowl? Is he just less flashy and too under the radar? Yeah, I think that probably has something to do with it. He doesn't make all the splash plays that a guy like Daniil Hunter or Anthony Barr or Harrison Smith might make, but Eric Kendricks is a bring your lunch pail to work type of guy. He makes all the tackles for the Vikings defense from the middle linebacker position, is consistently among our leading tacklers every week and every season. The next question comes from Patrick. So what happens if both the Vikings and Eagles would lose this week? Well, then the Vikings are in the playoffs. If the Eagles lose, the Vikings are in no matter what happens. But the Vikings won't have that mentality going into the game on Sunday. It will be a true playoff feel, a true win and in mentality for the Vikings on Sunday. They beat the Bears, they're in the playoffs. And the final question comes from Mike in Goodwin, South Dakota. I think the key to Sunday's game is to start fast on offense and have the defense continue to do what they do. Your thoughts? Skull. Yeah, I agree with that. I think a big key for both offense and defense will be turnovers. The Chicago Bears defense, very good at generating turnovers, and they did that three times to the Vikings offense earlier in the season at Soldier Field. So the Vikings offense has to avoid giving the ball away to the Bears defense. And that dovetails into the second key of the game. I think the Vikings defense has to make the Bears offense drive down the field in methodical fashion. Don't give up the big plays and don't have the offense turn the ball over to give the Bears a short field. And finally, for the Vikings offense, red zone touchdowns. When you get inside the 20 yard line on this Bears defense, those possessions have to turn into six or seven points every single time. That's it for this week's edition of the Pick 6. We're going to be back next week with another edition, hopefully a playoff edition of the Pick 6. So please keep submitting your questions to the email address at the bottom of the screen. In the meantime, stay right here at Vikings.com using the Vikings app and the Vikings social media platforms for more coverage of your favorite team leading up to the win and in regular season finale against the Bears on Sunday.